when people hear about the name Perodua, they immediately think of affordable and reliable vehicles. But did you know that Perodua is taking a giant leap forward with their latest models, introducing the all-new Perodua Axia, built on the brand new Daihatsu New Global Architecture, or DNGA. The DNGA is a game changer for Perodua, promising enhanced performance, improved safety features, and an overall elevated driving experience. Having reviewed the Activa and the Alza, I can confidently say that Perodua's new lineup truly feels like the next generation compared to their older models. And now, in 2023, I have the pleasure of exploring the latest generation to the Perodua family, the brand new Perodua Axia, developed from the all new DNGA platform. With that, welcome back to CarSync.my for another review video. This time round, I'll be taking a closer look at the all-new Axia and determine if the DNGA has made this budget-friendly vehicle even better. In this latest generation Axia, Perodua has revolutionized the design language, creating a remarkable transformation. Departing from the traditional tall body of its predecessor, the new Axia boasts a brand new design that exudes sophistication and slickness. As you can see, the once boxy structure has given way to a slicker silhouette, much like its sibling, the new MyV. The new Axia features a significantly longer wheelbase compared to its predecessor, nearly matching the length of the MyV. However, to ensure that the Axia remains distinct within its segment, Perodua has made a deliberate choice. Rather than matching the MyV Swift, the new Axia maintains a slightly narrower profile, preserving the uniqueness of both models. Moving towards the back of the car, there is a significant change in the profile, giving the Axia a more conventional appearance. It brings to mind the design of the Volkswagen Polo hatchback. Now, let's talk about an additional component found on the AV variant of the Axia. On top of the roof, there is a sleek, sporty spoiler that enhances the overall look of the vehicle. It adds a dynamic touch and accentuates the sporty appeal of the Axia, setting it apart from the other variants. However, when it comes to the wheels, the Axia sports a set of 40-inch rims across all its variants. While they may appear rather ordinary, Perodua has opted for a uniform design to keep costs down. But imagine upgrading those rims to a larger 15-inch size. This simple change would instantly give the Axia a more sporty and aggressive appearance. In order to seamlessly blend in with the modern Perodua family, the interior of the Axia is totally new as well. Step inside, you'll find an interior that has many shared components with the Ativa and the Alza. Whether you're a tech-savvy explorer or simply seeking a comfortable ride, the Axia has something for everyone. Thanks to the new platform, the Axia's NVH, also known as noise, vibration and harshness levels have been significantly improved particularly at lower speeds. This provided a quieter and more serene cabin, allowing you to enjoy the drive with reduced stress. Starting with the instrument cluster, in the Axia, it has undergone an upgrade and now measures in at 7 inches. This instrument cluster is the same item that you may have seen in the Ativa and the Alza. It provides you with all the essential information you need while driving, right within your view. Moving on to the infotainment system, the Axia's head unit share many similarities with the Ativa, featuring an array of features. Although it also shares some similarities with the Alza's unit, it leans more towards the Ativa in terms of functionality. This is because the Alza's head unit comes equipped with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration, which the Axia lacks. Nevertheless, the Axia's infotainment system still offers a delightful user experience with its range of other functionalities. As the Axia has undergone significant enhancement, the most improved enhancement is the driving position. Previously, it felt like you were sitting on the car, but now I feel like I'm sitting inside the car. This is further helped out by the reposition gear lever, as this also improves the ergonomics of the driver. Just imagine driving a manual version of this vehicle with the gear lever set at this perfect height. It adds a sense of control and engagement to your driving experience. However, there is still room for improvement. 
Lowering the seats could offer an even better seating position, allowing you to feel more connected to the road. Additionally, adding reach adjustment to the steering wheel would further enhance the driving position. It would provide the extra level of customization to ensure maximum comfort for drivers of all sizes. Despite these minor suggestions, Burrow Duo has truly made a comeback with the Axios driving position. They've managed to address previous concerns that I have with Burrow Duos of old. As we move to the back seats, let's see what this compact vehicle has in store for us. The first thing you'll notice is that it delivers exactly what you expect from a small car. In terms of headroom and legroom, the Axia does a decent job. Most individuals will find sufficient space to sit comfortably. However, if you happen to be on the taller side, you might find the comfort level a bit lacking. Due to the compact nature of the vehicle, the seating position in the back is quite upright. This might not be the most ideal setup for longer journeys, but it's manageable for shorter trips. Moving on to the rear seat bench, it's worth noting that the tie support is somewhat limited. This could affect the overall comfort, particularly for extended periods of seating. When it comes to seating capacity, the Axia is better suited for two adults in the back. Three adults might find the space to be quite tight, so keep that in mind when planning your trips. Now, let's talk about the Axia's impressive boot space. Thanks to the new chassis design, ProDuo has managed to squeeze an additional 5 litres of storage capacity. This brings the total boot space to a generous 265 litres. To enhance functionality, the seat back can be conveniently folded down, allowing you to expand the boot space even further. With this feature, you'll have no trouble accommodating larger items or additional luggage, making the Axia a practical choice for your everyday needs. While the Axia boasts a fresh new chassis design, the heart of the Axia remains unchanged. Powering this hatchback is the reliable 1.0-litre 3-cylinder naturally aspirated engine. However, what's new here is the brand new Dual Mode Continuous Variable Transmission, also known as DCVT. Now, let's talk numbers. Here are the figures that this powertrain can produce. When it comes to performance, the driving experience of the Axia remains largely unchanged. The engine maintains its familiar characteristic from the previous generation Axia, providing a sense of continuity. Driving the car below 110 km per hour, you'll notice a pleasant improvement in the NVH levels. The new Axia offers a higher level of NVH, enhancing your overall comfort during leisurely drives. However, as you push past 110 km per hour or engage in hard acceleration, the engine starts to show some rough edges. The engine sound becomes more noticeable and, unfortunately, begins to intrude into the cabin. On the bright side, this engine has proven to be highly efficient in its previous iteration and the trend continues with the new Axia. The introduction of the new DCVT has further improved fuel efficiency compared to the old 4-speed automatic. During my review, I was able to achieve an impressive average fuel economy figure of 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres without even making an effort. The new Axia is undoubtedly an economical choice for those seeking a wallet-friendly driving experience. One of the standout enhancements in the new Axia is its improved ride and handling. Not only has the MVH been addressed, but the entire driving experience has been elevated. With the introduction of the new platform, the Axia now offers a more planted feel on the road. This is primarily due to the longer wheelbase, which contributes to a greater sense of stability. As you hit the road, you'll notice how the Axia handles bumps and uneven roads with a newfound confidence. The ride quality has significantly improved, delivering a more mature and composed experience. However, it's important to note that these enhanced characteristics are more apparent at speeds below 110 km per hour. At higher speeds, particularly above 110 km per hour, the ride can feel harsher. While the Axia maintains its stability during highway cruising, there may be instances where strong winds can exert a slight influence on the vehicle, especially when exceeding the national speed limits. Another thing that stands out about the new Axia is the smoothness of the steering wheel. It's a noticeable improvement over the previous model, making every turn feel effortless and enjoyable. 
With a lighter touch and enhanced responsiveness, maneuvering the new Axia has become a breeze. It truly adds to the overall driving experience, providing a sense of ease and comfort behind the wheel. But it's not just about the smoothness. The new Axia steering is more direct than before, offering the driver a better level of precision and control. This increased directness inspires confidence, allowing drivers to confidently tackle corners and curves. You'll find yourself wanting to push the limits all while maintaining the sense of stability and control. However, it's important to note that responsible driving is always the priority. While the new Axia improves in handling, it's best to adhere to speed limits to fully appreciate its capabilities. Within its limits, the new Axia truly shines on city streets. Its nimble nature and agile handling make it an absolute joy to maneuver through urban environments. Now, when it comes to body roll, it's still present to some extent. So, drivers should exercise caution during spirited driving to maintain balance and stability. Starting with the brakes, the Axia boasts sufficient stopping power, perfectly suited for its size. Equipped with a combination of discs and drum brakes, its braking system provides reliable performance on the road. However, it's worth noting that the brakes are slightly front bias, meaning that the front brakes take on the majority of the stopping force. This setup offers a distinct sensation, with the front brakes doing most of the work when you need to slow down. but the improvements in safety and driver assistance systems truly shines in the new generation Axia. Porodua's collaboration with Daihatsu has resulted in a comprehensive array of driver assistance features, ensuring a safer driving experience. Although the Axia's list of safety systems are extensive, it's important to note that it doesn't match the complete set found in the MyV. Porodua intentionally maintains a distinction between these two models. Let's explore the safety and driver assistance systems available in the Axia. With a price tag of 49,500 ringgit, the new Axia comes in with a higher price tag compared to its predecessor. But before you dismiss it, let's consider the factors behind the increment. Increased material costs and inflation have led to this adjustment. It's important to note that these costs contribute to the overall quality and innovation packed into the new Axia. And trust me when I say, this price is completely justifiable. The new Axia offers a level of drivability and safety that way surpasses the old model. It's a true testament to the commitment of the design and engineering team. As a Picanto owner myself, I can appreciate the advancement in the new Axia. However, when it comes to driving dynamics, there are still room for improvement to match the Picanto's driving feel. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please kindly leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more future review videos. If you would like to find out more about the Perot Duo Axia, feel free to head on over to our website carsick.my for more information. Hope to see you soon. Bye!